Hello and welcome to this final sample for the MCS pre-scene on ZX Furniture as the exam is imminent. But not to worry, we have a demonstration of Porter's Five Forces analysis on ZX Furniture right now. <laughs> So, as we get into it, firepower is fairly high. When you consider the client-based nature of the industry, major players that put in big orders can sort of dictate discounts, maybe even pricing strategies, depending on the size of the cordial market as a whole. However, we have to consider that it's a very broad product. Businesses need office furniture. So, in terms of who's going to buy it, it's very specific. And also, home furniture is not a great substitute, as we'll come to. So, whilst there is this very large power from uh, the large clients, there are many of them. So, as a whole, it's a high buyer power, but the force isn't quite as exceptional as you might expect. Supplier power is on the high side, um, particularly when we consider that things like timber, steel, those kind of materials often dominated by large global suppliers. And likewise, any niche products might have some sort of material or design that is only producible by certain companies. So some suppliers will have some power. However, ZX is a major player in Cordia. Likewise, there's a lot of small suppliers for things like timber and steel, as long as it's not a very specifically skilled process of getting it. So folded steel is much harder to acquire than general steel. So as we move on to competitors, we know this is a really, really large pressure. There's so many competitors in the cordial market, even from exports externally. So it's a very saturated market. So in that sense, it's a very, very highly competitive industry. And there's not too much room for diversification. Once you follow the, the industry trends, innovation is quite tricky. On the flip side, ZX are a major player, as we've mentioned. So they have a good position in this competitive market and they are top two in the Cordia market. So in that sense, it's a high, high pressure, but they have a pretty good position. And new entrants, unlikely. So whilst suppliers could potentially go about making their own products, it's far-fetched in some ways and it's a saturated market it's very low incentives to start from scratch and go into this market and finally as we mentioned substitutes pretty difficult I mean bean bags not really many alternatives and those bean bags would only be going to very specific uh, companies as we might have seen in the industry analysis places like Google stuff like that they might have a more laid-back way of orientating the office in most cases, you need office furniture. So, that's all for today, and I hope this helps in your exam, and very much good luck.